Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Axial Tri-Bar LED fog lights in amber, fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. So if you're in search of a new fog light setup for the front end of your JK and you're looking for an affordable option, while also looking for something that's going to stand out in comparison to some other choices, this is going to be a great choice to take a look into. So whether you have a factory fog light that's burnt out or one of your fog light housings has taken some damage while you were out on the trail, this is going to be a great upgrade that is going to increase your lighting performance and also create that custom look with an amber color. Uh, now, as you can see with the fog lights off right now, you're going to get a very sleek look with the black housing and the clear lens and also that tri bar design. But when these are on, these are going to be incredibly bright, increasing your lighting performance if you're looking for some additional lighting or some better lighting for your front end for vis better visibility at night. And you're also looking to stand out in comparison to uh, some other Wranglers, considering that these have that amber color. Now these are also going to be completely plug and play, making it incredibly easy to get these installed. And again, these are going to be incredibly affordable at roughly $70. Now in comparison to some other choices, these are gonna keep it pretty simple. Uh, however, what I do really like is that, again, they stand out with the amber color, which is something that you don't see that often um, with fog lights, especially on the page. Now other fog lights are usually going to have that bright white color temperature, or they may have some different technology if they are a little bit more expensive. They may have a halo or a color changing halo, or they may have a different kind of housing and setup like a back facing LED. Now, in my personal opinion, I think if you're looking for that custom look and you're also looking for some better lighting performance at a very affordable price, then these are going to be right up your alley. So as far as install is concerned, I'm going to give it a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. Like I said, these are going to completely be plug and play. Can't take it any longer than an hour to get the job done. So speaking of that install, Install, let's jump into that right now. The tools that I used for my install were an impact wrench, an 18 millimeter deep socket, a Phillips head socket, 3 8 inch drive ratchet, and an electric ratchet. So our first step to this install is to unplug our fog lights. Now if you do have the upper and lower splash guard on your bumper, you will need to remove that with either a flathead screwdriver or a trim removal tool. We do not have those on our bumper, so what we're going to do is reach around and unplug our fog lights. All we need to do is depress that tab and pull back. Same for the other one. So our next step is to take off the bumper. Now you can just loosen up the bolts and then remove the fog lights and replace them there. However, I find it a little bit easier just to completely take off the bumper and replace them off the Jeep. So you are gonna need an 18 millimeter deep socket as well as a hand ratchet or even an electric ratchet. So we're gonna use that 18 millimeter deep socket to remove the hardware on the back of the studs that are holding the bumper to the frame. Then we can repeat that for the other six studs. Now there's also gonna be two on the inside that are a little bit difficult to see and they may be a little bit difficult to reach, so you will need to use a hand ratchet for the inside bolts. Once the bumper is completely disconnected, we can just grab the tow hooks and pull back. So now that we have our bumper off of our Jeep, we can remove our fog light. It's being held in by four screws on either side. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is take a Phillips head socket and we're gonna remove those screws for both of the fog lights. 
Now your hardware may be a little bit different, so you may need to use an eight millimeter socket. Once the hardware is removed, we can take out our fog light and repeat that for the other one. So before we hop into the inside, I do want to stop down and tell you guys a little bit more about this new set of axial fog lights. Next to our factory one, tell you guys some of these similarities and the differences between the two. Now these are going to be a big upgrade for a number of different reasons as far as lighting technology and lighting performance goes. And this is also going to have a better construction in comparison to our factory fog light. Now as a brief overview of our factory fog light, this is going to have a plastic housing. It's also going to have that standard halogen bulb. Now it is going to have a white light, but it is going to have more of a yellowish hue. Um, however, uh, when you upgrade to an LED, it is going to make just that much of a difference and this axial fog light is going to do that. Now, a lot of other fog lights on the market are usually going to have that bright white light, but what I do like about this set of axial fog lights is the fact that this is going to illuminate amber. Uh, so this is going to give you some extra styling to the front end of your rig while also having a tri-bar design and a clear lens for a sleek look while they are off. Now this is going to have a polycarbonate lens, so it is going to be a lot stronger than the factory lens. Um, so if you do take a hit off-road, this is going to be able to hold up a lot better than the factory one. Now these are also going to have a 50,000 hour lifespan in comparison to the factory halogen bulb, which does burn out uh, every once in a while. So upgrading to an LED is just worth it for the lifespan and the durability. Now speaking of durability, these are also going to have an IP68 rating, which is going to mean they are dust proof and they are waterproof. So whether you're just riding around on the trail all day, kicking up dust, or you're going through uh, some high waters, these are going to be okay and the LEDs inside are not going to get damaged. Uh, so overall, these are going to be a big upgrade. I do personally like that this has an amber color, a bright amber color over the factory halogen. Um, this is going to, again, just give you that upgrade that you may be looking for for some extra styling and the lighting performance, considering that they are a lot brighter than the factory halogen bulb. So what do you say? We go ahead and install our new fog lights. Now we can repeat that process for the other fog light. So now that our fog lights are in, what we can do is reinstall our factory front bumper. And before we secure down our bumper, we're going to go ahead and test out our lights. I'm going to plug them in. These are going to be plug and play. You want to make sure that the connectors line up so you'll see that there's uh, two tabs on one side, one tab on the other side may have to squeeze down on these two tabs on the outside to get it aligned properly. Once they click in, you can do the same thing for the other side. And my factory harness may look a little bit different just because I have added an extension wire on here. But this is the factory connector. And again, these are going to be plug and play, making it incredibly easy to install. Last but not least, we can secure down our bumper with our factory hardware. I'm going to be using that 18 millimeter deep socket, my electric ratchet for the outside bolts. And we can repeat that process for the other six studs. Mm -hmm. 
So that's going to wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for more videos and products just like this, always keep it right here at ExtremeTrain.com.